Hi, and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to get started with GitHub. And I'm going to show you how to make a repository, how to clone the repository. And I'm not going to assume any prior knowledge. The only thing I'm really going to assume is that you have already set up a GitHub account and you already have a editor for writing and saving your code. This is also known as an IDE or an integrated development environment. I personally use Visual Studio. So I'm gonna assume that you already have something like Visual Studio installed. So um, if you are wondering what Visual Studio is, it looks like this and you can install Visual Studio um, online. There are lots of tutorials online for helping you install something like this for writing code. All right, anyways, let's get back to GitHub. If you don't already have an account, you can press sign up and go through the process. I'm not gonna do that in this tutorial. I, I assume you can figure that out. It's um, pretty straightforward. Um, it just takes a little bit of time to set it up. And now I'm going to sign into my account, but I'm not going to show that part so that you don't see my credentials or anything like that. So I'm going to stop the video. All right, so I just logged into my GitHub account. And you can see I have a bunch of repositories already because I use GitHub uh, quite regularly for managing code and making sure the code's back up online in case something goes wrong locally on my desktop and GitHub's useful for reverting back to a previous revision in case you need to undo a bunch of changes that you made in your code. So that's why a lot of people use GitHub. So the first thing you need to do for a new project is to create a new repository. So one way you can do that is by pressing this button here and you'll need to give your repository a name. I am making a server for a website called Text Dissection. So Text Dissection dash server or something like this, um, except it auto-corrupted. So Text Dissection dash server. Um, so this is going to be the code for the server for a website. Um, with a domain of text deception. You don't need to understand what this name is really for. You can give your repository any name that you like as long as it is available. And you can choose between public and private. Public means anyone on the internet can see your code. Private means only you can see your code. I'm gonna choose private for this tutorial. Um, up to you what you would like to choose. And um, I'm just going to press create repository now. Okay, so the repository was created and you will be brought to this kind of page where you'll see sort of this initial guidance for setting up your repository. The important thing here is this URL. So you want to copy that so that you can use this repository on your local machine, on your laptop. So now the next step is to um, go to your text editor. For me, that's going to be Visual Studio, or this is actually an IDE, sorry, not a text editor. And as you can see, I need to open a project or open, I need to access some code. Um, so what I'm gonna do is open a terminal here. I'm gonna close the debug console and make sure that I am at the right location on my machine where I would like to start my project. So if I write PWD, you can see that I'm not on my desktop. So I want to say CD desktop so that I change the current directory to the desktop. 
So now I can say, now I can create my project or I can clone my repository. So what I'm gonna say is git clone and then paste that URL with command V. By the way, I'm on a Mac um, in case that helps anyone, but I am um, now gonna try to clone this repository and see if it appears on my, see if something appears on my desktop after running this command. So I just pressed enter and it says cloning into text dissection dash server, which is the name of my repository that I chose. And it says a warning, you appear to have cloned an empty repository. That's to be expected because I made a repository that was empty. There was nothing in it. And this may be an atypical or unusual way of starting with GitHub, but it has definitely been working for me uh, while developing code. So this is just kind of what I have been doing, what I am accustomed to. Um, if you want, you can follow these instructions here, but I find it's just very simple to clone the empty repository. Okay, so now if I say ls, I can see the um, folder that's now on my desktop. So if I want to, and it's also here. So if I want to start my coding, I can go to this folder here. I can probably just click on it, uh, see if, I'm actually hesitant to do that because I was testing this out before making this video. And I don't know if this is the old folder or the new one. So I'm going to actually just go here and say open folder, go to desktop. And as you can see, the folder was created just, just now um, from that git clone command. Now I can open the folder. And now I have, now I'm kind of inside of this folder and um, I can create a new folder within this folder and call it say, or no, I don't need a new folder. I can just say, um, uh, say I'm using Python for my server. I can say app.py and I can say print hello is just a very, very simple example. Save the file and now uh, let's see if I can, um, I can push this file to, to GitHub. Um, and now that's great because then I have a copy of the code on GitHub and then I can start to manage the different changes that I'd like to manage with, with GitHub, which is, you know, for version control and everything. So how do we, how do we do that? Well, the first thing you can do is say PWD, this is just a typical um, command for figuring out where your current directory is. As you can see, I'm in the text to section dash server folder, which is what I want. And now I can say git add dot, and the dot is for the current directory. And so now I'm say, so first I do this, I add, um, and then I say git commit dash m, and type a message. And the message can be anything just to tell yourself what change you made. So I'm gonna say added app.py file. Um, so that you see, do add and then commit, I'm gonna press enter. And the final thing uh, is to push the changes. So git push origin main. This is just what I usually do to uh, push the changes to the repository. I'm going to press enter and you can see this output here and um, I don't see any errors so that's great and now let's see if the code here is in the github repository. Going 
over to my repository online and click on it. And there is the file app.py, which I created on my computer. You can see the code within the file. So that's great. Now, what happens if you want to add more code to your file or make a change? Say I don't actually want to print hello. Maybe I want to import class instead. Then I can change, press save and do the same process again. So I can say git add dot git commit dash m and I can say imported flask for the message. And now I can say git push origin main, enter. And let's see if when I refresh this, if the code changed and it did. So this is a very good way to keep track of all of your files in a given repository or folder so that you have a, a backup online. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please give it a like and thank you for watching.